Happy Monday. The uncertainty. The uncertainty. That's every day. You may have a routine, and that's certain of that routine. You may be bored of it. You may love it. But there's a lot of X factors that you can't govern or control. Some people lean into more of the uncertainty and spontaneity, and but uncertainty and the unknown, how do you embrace that? Are you afraid of it? Are you excited by it? And once I've, for me, when I've been able to be like, oh, certain things, I'm just, if it's uncertain or unknown, I just cruise toward doom and gloom. And when I realized that I was just immediately going in that direction at any uncertain or unknown idea or outcome in my life, I was like, I don't, why, I don't want to do that. It doesn't even matter why I do that, in my opinion. The why doesn't matter. The, the acceptance of the, the now is all that matters. And I get to shift that unknown to like, okay, a positive outcome. Not necessarily, well, I mean, it is a bit of fantasy. I mean, both are fantasy, right? If I, if I dream of the worst thing possible, it's, it's a fantasy. And if I dream of the best thing possible, it's a fantasy. So why not give more credence and energy towards the best thing possible, the excitement, rather than the anxiety, or the fear, I should say. Because there can be anxiety and excitement. At least for me, it's the same feeling. Fear, excitement. Which do you choose in the unknown? There's other things that enter into that. You can actually feel some of each of those things too, beyond the anxiety of what, like the heart rate, you can maybe feel impending fear or fear feel excitement, but if it's completely unknown and there's no other factors and it's just an imaginary situation that's going to happen tomorrow and you are in that tomorrow and jumping out of today, you're creating so much crap. You might as well create excitement. So I don't know. Happy Monday. Big light, much love. Embrace uncertainty with excitement. The end of something is the beginning of another thing. That's it.